Hello and welcome to another Robcast, Revenge of the Nerd Podcast. Con Review Edition. Hello everyone, it is Rob Cicchetto, your guru of gore, inventor of zombie portraits, and lover of all things pop culture. It's me again, and I'm back with a convention review. This time, uh, Steel City Nerd Con, and uh, wonderful Sault Ste. Marie, I just got back. Uh, Saturday afternoon after the con. Uh, it is not too long after, so it is very fresh in my mind. It's only been a day and a half. Uh, I've been incredibly busy since. And uh, I just wanted to say, before I go any further, uh, please help support the channel uh, by giving me a thumbs up for this video. That'd be fantastic. Uh, and if it's not too much trouble, I know it's a, a lot, but uh, <laughs> uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, help me uh, you know, do more videos. Uh, give me, give me some motivation. I would really love that, guys. And uh, you know, I always seek approval from from people. So uh, there's that. I need that. I need it desperately. So <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, on to the review. Uh, so I've been to the uh, uh, Steel City NerdCon several times. In fact, I was there for the first one many years ago now. I, I believe this is the fifth or sixth one. Uh, again, I'm not quite sure of that number, but uh, it, it, it's been it's been a few. Uh, you know, we've been right up there with the numbers for this one. Um, this is this was at the again and I love this too. It was again at the Northern Heritage Bush Plain Museum, uh, which is a wonderful venue. I love the venue. It's very unique, and uh, uh, I think I think all but one of them have been there. Uh, the very first one wasn't there, but I think all of them have been. All of the subsequent ones have been at the Bush Plain uh, Museum, which is right on the waterfront, which again is beautiful, and the weather. Uh, uh, this weekend really helped. Again, these are th sort of incidental things. It doesn't go to the general, like, you know, I'm not going to review and say, like, well, the con was great because of the weather. Uh, that was just one of the things. It was really uh, fantastic. And because it's on the water, uh, it is uh, a, a really wonderful con to go to, uh, you know, just visually. The inside of the venue is great. They've got giant planes and stuff in there. It's a museum. It's, 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 uh, it's, not, your, it's not your common... Uh, uh, venue, uh, which is usually an auditorium or a you know a, a, a sports arena or something like that. This is kind of unique. I really love that. I think it's I think the venue really does a lot of uh, interesting and good things uh, for the con uh, for a con. So yeah, guys, uh, you know if you can't find uh, you know if you're if you're trying to organize a, a you know an event a, a convention and you can't find the a, you know perfect arena or rink or 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 community center or whatever hall uh you know check out some of the more unique things out there and see if they're available too they might be uh you know advantageous to your convention uh so this one was again put on by uh vintage games in junk uh run by the delightful uh michael and beth Turcott and uh, they they always uh, they always have a, a fantastic uh, sense of what people like and what people expect and uh, you know they have they really have, they're very intuitive when it comes to um, the people the people attending the people coming into their store uh, all of those things and they're very people driven uh, you know in, in terms of wanting everyone to sort of be happy and relaxed and have a very smooth transition into you know get, you know getting set up whatever the whatever the situation is they're very helpful in that and they and they really know they've kind of like you know been there um and experience a lot of this stuff on their own, uh, which which is why they're they're fantastic and they're so well suited, uh, you know, to to uh, you know doing these cons. If if history has taught us anything, uh, and in this case it sure has, uh, they they've they've done a great job from the very beginning. I've never uh, been you know left you know with any questions or or wondering anything or uh, everything's so smooth. The transition is so great from you know. Being a uh, a vending dude artist guy to like being a guy that's at that con. Uh, so uh, if you have any uh, if you have any aspirations of of doing cons, if this one still continues uh, after this year, I highly suggest 
uh, contacting uh, Vintage Games and Junk and uh, uh, Michael and or Beth uh, and and finding out if you can if you can be a vendor there. Uh, now that brings me to another thing. Uh, I heard that they were, you know, this might be the last con they're going to do. I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, I mean, you know, it's like somebody uh, asking you the next day when you're hungover and you're, and you're on the couch and you're trying to recover from last night's party. Hey, you want to go to a party? You know, this weekend, you're probably going to go, eh, nah, I don't feel like it. You know, until until that, the party next weekend is imminent. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I was talking to, to, to them after the show, and they were saying, well, you know, maybe this is the last one. So, who knows? It could be the con hangover. Con hangovers are real, man. Like, I spent yesterday, I, I worked I worked a lot yesterday after the con. Uh, you know, I had, I had a ton of deadlines and stuff to do when I got back. Uh, but man, you really feel that con hangover. When I'm at a convention, I'm on from the time I set up till the time I tear down. So you're gonna see me like, you know, extremely animated, uh, probably speaking loudly uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, that is just something that I kind of do to engage, uh, 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 you know, potential uh, people that, that, that are interested in my work. So, uh, you know, you, you, you really feel it. And especially if you have to drive a long distance uh, you know, uh, my, my nephew and I drove um, uh, from Sudbury, of course, to, to Sault Ste. Marie, where, where the convention is held. Uh, and it's only a three-hour drive, but it's a, it's a grueling drive. Uh, and that has nothing to do with, with how good or bad the con is. The con uh, was fantastic. The convention was great. Steel City Nerd Con is sort of like just humming along now. Uh, you have... People that are expecting uh, expecting uh, that to come to their town, and uh, I have to say, out of all the towns I've been to, uh, Sault Ste. Marie ranks uh, amongst those that are that have the very best and most engaged and engaging fans. Uh, the fans in Sault Ste. Marie are absolutely wonderful uh I, I can't i can't speak highly enough about them uh and that really you know like i i'm a huge nerd so i watch a lot of wrestling and stuff too above on top of everything else and you know when wrestlers are in the ring and performing if the crowd's not into it man it, it really it really you know uh 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 casts a lot of shade and it's kind of a depressing thing uh so when you go to a convention and people are kind of just shuffling around they don't really give a shit about being there and blah 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 that's real. that, that kind of like that kind of brings everything down uh so thank thankfully i have not been to too many of those but uh in sault saint marie uh i have to say the fans that attend the, uh, the conventions there are extremely uh excited and engaging and you can really feel and i've said this before you can really feel that electricity in the air and it's and it's kinetic and it's wonderful and i love it and and you get swept up in it and you feel even more uh enthusiastic about why you're there and what you're doing uh, so it, it, it's great. So I have to say this con was fantastic as always. It, uh, you know, I, I, it is, it's, it's kind of like, uh, I almost felt like doing this, this, uh, review was kind of a moot point because it was just great. And you know, I'm telling you guys, I've been to cons on long weekends, which we just had. Uh, long weekend both ways in fact because we had Canada had our uh, you know long weekend sort of thing starting Friday and uh, the US all, all my US peeps had that uh, today uh, you know and uh, uh, I'm telling you a, a long weekend can destroy a, a, like a convention uh, it could it could help but it can also I've only seen it be like kind of detrimental uh, to like to a convention in my experience but I'm not saying that is the general norm uh, in this case it was fantastic nobody missed a beat everyone was there man uh, and there were people I've never I'd never seen before at this con uh, which was fantastic I have some really true fans there which guys God bless you I love that thank you so much it means the world to me any artist who gets that kind of attention and support uh, can, can you know uh, it's it means the world so uh, guys again fantastic con Mike Beth thank you so much for putting on a fantastic con again as you always do please keep them going man 
Uh, if, uh, again, like if, if, if this con was any indication and, uh, uh, you know, not even mentioning the other ones, uh, you're doing a great job and people are really wanting it to be there. So, uh, you know, keep doing it, guys. I, I hope you do. Uh, you're delightful when, 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 you know, you're there and everybody's talking to you. So, uh, it, it, you know, it's just uh, great. So, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, finish this. It's a 10 minute mark. Uh, I'm not going to go, I don't want to go over too much. So thank you all for listening, guys. Please give this review a thumbs up uh, and uh, check out my other videos. And guess what? This is true. It's coming. Uh, the castle, Lego castle, is complete. And I will have that video for you this week. So all you Lego fans out there, stay super tuned for this uh, epic Lego castle. As epic as I can do it uh, with, with the limited resources I have. So, guys, uh, I hope you tune into that. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, I will see you all again in the very, very near future. Uh, and uh, God bless and uh, best wishes and love. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.